Hey folks, Justin Thayer, TeamThayer.com, here as always in the beautiful Eugene, Oregon. Have a beautiful backdrop, Spencer's Butte for you today. Going to discuss a subject about a philosophy, a philosophy stated by the famous, famous philosopher, well-known analyst of truth, Edward Nietzsche. And what he said and or the thing that he said that I want to talk about is something that I personally struggle with and I am trying every day to do a better job at this but basically it goes something like convictions are more dangerous to the truth than lies convictions are more dangerous to the truth than lies and here's what that means Basically, people have convictions. I have convictions, I'm, I'm stubborn, and I believe something, something in, that I believe, and then I believe it to be true, even sometimes when there is evidence to support the opposite. So, and that happens a lot. I've seen this as one of the biggest downfalls of entrepreneurs, business people, sales people, is getting kind of stuck in a conceptual rut that might not be the truth. And we know that we are susceptible to fantasy as humans, you know, because if it's obvious, sometimes we believe it's true. Question your beliefs every once in a while. Make sure that what your beliefs are, what your convictions are, are questioned and you come to the best truth. This is so important when it comes to business and sales. As a real estate broker, I've read so many things by leading experts that were just not factual. Convictions, just what you believe, beliefs, hard, fast beliefs without questioning them, right? Especially to do with your business or your, your career they are more dangerous than when people tell lies to you. And the reason is, a lot of times, a lies are short-lived, they're always short-lived. And a lie can be exposed, right? A lie, it, it doesn't survive the test of time where conviction can. A conviction, there's some real estate information out there that are convictions. You can still read articles about certain things that I know statistically, if they would break it down properly, that they are not accurate. Certain things that a lot of people say today about investing or selling homes or sales in general, certain things are statistically not accurate. Some things are actually accurate in the big spectrum of things. And what I mean by the big spectrum, you've got a spectrum between operators or salespeople that are horrible to the best. And you can have a certain thing that'll work with the whole spectrum. But if you slide this way, those things start losing you money. Or if you slide this way, they can lose you money or gain you money as well. That's it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. There's Red and Butt up there. She says she's going to subscribe to my channel, teamfair.com. Totally. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Comment on the bottom. I love to hear what you have to say. Good, bad, ugly. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, I'd love to hear it. That's, those are the most fun. See you next time. Many hundreds of years ago, and that would be that